what's up guys welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel as you can tell this is going to be another book video and i am so excited to just sit here and rant about some books all of the books i'm going to be talking about today i've seen all over tiktok all over book talk specifically i have seen so many different opinions about them i've seen many different reviews about them i've read all of them and i'm here to tell you if in my opinion i think they're worth it if they're not worth it if they're overhyped some misconceptions that there are about these books and just everything that there is to know about these super super popular books however before we get started with this video i want to give a huge thank you to book of the month for sponsoring today's video so if you didn't know book of the month is a super popular and fast growing online book service for all readers their mission is to promote new and emerging authors and to help readers find books that they love their team bets hundreds of books each month and they also give readers their choice from a curated selection of new and early release titles so that way you know for a fact that you're spending more time reading and less time researching book of the month is completely risk-free so you can skip any month at any time and you will not be charged. They also have the best price for new release hardcover fiction. And for the whole month of February, if you use the code Be Mine, you can get your first book for just $9.99. I'm gonna share with you guys the books that I got this month. The first book is The Golden Couple, and it's actually written by two different people, which is Greer Hendricks and Sarah Pekinen. Second book is Don't Cry For Me by Daniel Black. Next one is Vladimir by Julia Mae Jonas. Next, we have a book by Melissa Fu, which is Peach Blossom Spring. And lastly, I have A River Enchanted by Rebecca Ross. Once again, thank you so much to Book of the Month for sponsoring this video. And let's get started with the video. I was thinking right now, I was like, what book should I start this video with? What should be that number one book? This book deserves and needs all of your attention. I was like, maybe somebody's gonna like click out of the video like halfway through and if I leave this till the end, they're not gonna get to hear about it. So I definitely wanted to make this book my first one. This book is Reminders of Him by Colleen Hoover. This is her latest release and I actually got this book like a day after it came out. I was like, I need to read this now. This book wasn't just all over my TikTok. It was all over my Instagram. It was all over my like Instagram story. Stories. I pretty much had no idea what this book was gonna be about. I just ordered it and I was like, obviously it's Colleen Hoover and I'm a Colleen Hoover fanatic. So I was like, obviously it's gonna be good. I don't need to know too much. Basically this book follows the journey of Kenna. Kenna made a horrible, tragic mistake when I think she was 19. And because of that mistake, she had to go to prison for five years. And not only that, but she was pregnant the first nine months that she was in prison. She gave birth, they took her daughter away for the next four years. So five years later is when this book starts. So that's like the main basis of the book. Like it's like a young mother trying to get back to her daughter after making this huge mistake. Pretty much every person in Kenna's daughter's life wants nothing to do with Kenna and they don't want her to meet the daughter. And this book is so good at explaining everybody's side so perfectly because you see why obviously a young mother wants to reunite with her daughter even after making this horrible mistake. But you also get to understand other people's point of views and you get to see why they're scared and afraid and angry at Kenna trying to reunite with her daughter. Kenna fights so hard, not only for the forgiveness of the people that she hurt, but also to be able to forgive herself, which is one of the most heartbreaking parts of the story. I honestly want to go on and on and on about this book. I thought it was so beautiful. It's definitely absolutely 100% one of my favorite Colleen Hoover books. It's almost like a, I want it to be my favorite book, but there's so many good ones that it's definitely like my top two. Every single Colleen Hoover book I've read is so different, but yet it still has that same feeling where it will literally crush your soul and heart and spirit. And then at the end, it's back. Okay, next book I'm talking about is this one. It Happened One Summer by Tessa Bailey. I have many many opinions about this book so don't get me wrong this book is good i gave this book i think a four stars out of five when i first read it however i desperately wanted to talk about this book in this video because the hype that this book had when i got it i saw so many different reviews about this book before i started reading it and people were like raving about it and saying like oh my god it's so good i think where i went wrong is that i had way too many different people's opinions about this book before i made up my own since i'm already being a negative nancy about this book i'm just gonna go full on and tell you a little bit about the story and then i'm gonna tell you what i really didn't like about it this book is about piper she is a 28 year old she's kind of like serena vanderwoodson but in la her stepdad is incredibly rich She's known to be a party girl. She's like an Instagram model. She's either shopping and wasting a bunch of money or she's at parties, staying out really late. So a quick little thing that happened to me at the beginning was I despised the main character. It wasn't until the end where it was like, okay, like she has her moments and then, you know, she, she gets better as the book goes on. But at the beginning, I was like, ew, like I don't wanna, like I don't wanna read about this super spoiled brat. Like that's so annoying, but that's the point. That's the point that she is a spoiled brat. And then at the end, 
you know, she has her whole, you know, epiphany. So Piper has like one crazy ass wild night where she kind of loses control of herself and everything just goes wrong. Her stepdad sends her out to a fishing town, which is where her real dad is from. And there's like a little bar there. And her stepdad tells her like, you have to run this bar and show me that you can be responsible. And that's where she meets Brendan. Brendan is a fisherman there. He's pretty much the complete opposite of who she is. It's a cute little rom-com and it's funny and it's witty. And if you want a book like that, then I recommend this book. Okay, next book I'm talking about. I'm so excited about this book. I loved this book. But the reason I'm putting this book in this video is because every TikTok and every review that I've seen about it doesn't describe how actually amazing this book is. When I started reading this book, I was like, obviously it's Colleen Hoover. I trust her to, you know, break my entire heart and then put it back together at the end. But then I started getting into it and I'm like, dude, this book is amazing. Like it's so good. You know the show Outer Banks and the vibe that that gives you? this book will give you the same vibe. It literally makes you want to be at the beach every single day and this is a great summer read or if you want that summer feeling, I definitely recommend this book. So this story is about Bea and Samson and if I would have read this book before I filmed my soulmates book video, I would have put them in that video. So Bea was raised by her mom and her mom was actually an addict and when this story starts is when her mom passes away from being an addict. So Bea basically finds herself in a position where she has this entire summer where she has nowhere to live. She does have a full scholarship to go to college, which starts in the fall, but she has this entire summer where she's basically homeless. And that is when she calls her dad and she basically tells her dad like, hey, like, can I come live with you during the summer? And she doesn't have the best relationship with her dad. So it's really hard for her at the beginning to go from like a parent that just passed away to a parent that she really doesn't know. And then Bea meets Samson and Bea soon realizes that Samson is pretty much the complete opposite of who she is and they grew up in completely different ways. She comes from an upbringing of a lot of neglect and poverty like sometimes they didn't even have enough food to eat dinner and Samson comes from a family of a lot of money. This book shows you that even though it seems that they come from very different upbringings, you know, one with money, one without, they both share and have this like incredible, you know, sadness to them. And it's not until they meet that they realize that they're not as alone as they think because now they actually have each other. This book is absolutely amazing. The summer vibes and like just the vibe in general that this book gives you and leaves you with is chef's kiss there's also a really big plot twist in this book and that's all i'm gonna say next book i'm talking about i'm so excited to talk about this again because i feel like i've only talked about this book once in my channel and i'm ready to just fully let loose about it this is the invisible life of Addie larue at least for me i've definitely seen this book all over my tiktok and i've actually seen amazing reviews about it and then i've seen horrible reviews about it so i'm here to tell you the in between about this book so basically this book starts out in france like 300 years ago and our main character is Addie larue she comes from a town and she comes from a family where tradition is key the tradition is that she as a girl has to get married super young has to get married to a guy and then have a bunch of kids and just be like a housewife for the rest of her life and she despises that she does not want to have that life she's like i want to experience life i want to like travel i want to go places i want to know more about things but she basically prays to the night gods and there's like a whole thing where if you pray to the night gods it's like not a good idea because they're going to grant you your wish but there's going to be a lot of consequences because of it and she finds herself dealing with the consequences for 300 years and she one never dies so she will never be able to die two she never ages so she will look the same for the rest of her life and three which is the hard part is that she will never be remembered by anybody so her recollection her memories are all there like she you know has lived a life for 300 years she remembers everything she's done so every person that she meets every person that she encounters she'll have a conversation with them they'll see her like it'll be fine and the second that she walks out of the room and the second that she's out of their sight she's out of their mind as well but the big moment in this story is when somebody finally remembers her and she's like what is happening 300 years where nobody remembers me and this guy which obviously is a, is a love interest um remembers her i don't think i ended up absolutely loving this book until i finished it especially in the beginning i was like i am bored and i hate saying that because now that i finished it i'm like oh my god you dumbass like keep reading it's gonna get so good but at the beginning i was a little bored i was like oh like where's this story going like there's a lot of detail i think if you're interested in reading this book i would definitely definitely pick it up um because as long as you know one the beginning is slow two there's a lot of detail and three the ending is not what you think um i think as long as you know that this book will be a great reading experience. Next book I'm talking about, I absolutely had to talk about in this video because the first TikTok book video I made, I hadn't read it yet, so I couldn't talk about it. But I feel like if a book could rule book talk, 
not necessarily because it's absolutely amazing but because so many people talk about it it would be this one the love hypothesis by ali hazelwood she has another book coming out this year and i'm definitely 100 gonna read it because if it's anything like this book i know i'm gonna like it this book is about olive and adam olive is a grad student at the school that the book takes place in and adam is a professor there i feel like the story with them starts out kind of in a weird way but it's a rom-com you have to remember it's a rom-com and one of the things about this book is that it was definitely I wouldn't use the word cringy because I feel like cringy, like we think it's bad, but corny is the right word. Olive finds herself in a really weird situation where she kind of dated this guy and it didn't go anywhere. She had no feelings for him. He had no feelings for her at all. But then she realized that her best friend actually had more of a connection with him than she ever did. And her best friend likes the guy. The guy likes her best friend, but the best friend is like, obviously I can't date him because he dated her, which is her best friend. And that's basically where Olive and Adam get the idea to fake date. So there's a lot of really good tropes in this book. There's fake dating, obviously, which is like the main one. And then there's also grumpy sunshine because she's a whole ray of sunshine and he is a grumpy old fart. Going from like a book where I was like crying to something like this is such like a little breath of fresh air type of moment because it's such a good rom-com. It's so cute. It's actually funny at times. Say, okay, the last thing I'll say about this book though is that the main big misconception that I had about this book. Everybody said this book was like super spicy and like super like crazy out of this world type of spicy book. So if you saw TikToks where it was like, oh, this book is so spicy, like blah, blah, blah. It's not. But yeah, I definitely enjoyed this book. I thought it was really cute. I thought it was funny. I thought it was witty. And yeah. Okay, so the last book I'm gonna be talking about is such a throwback for me because I've only read it once. I haven't gone back and reread it. And I read it like I think almost a year ago or a little bit over a year ago. And recently I've been seeing people talk about it on TikTok again. And I was like, okay, definitely need to put in a video, share my opinions, blah, blah, blah. I've seen more bad reviews about this book than good, which kind of pisses me off because I had a really, really good reading experience when I read this book. One thing, however, is that I did read this book when I was first getting into reading. So I feel like my standards might have not been as high as they are now. However, thinking back to the storyline, thinking back to the characters, thinking back to the big ass plot twist that this book has, has, I still would enjoy it. Like, I still think this book definitely has some um, very good parts in it. This book is basically about a really wealthy family that spends their summers in a private island that lets you know how rich they are. It follows the storyline of all the cousins in the family and you kind of get to see them growing up because they go back to the same private island every single summer. So like on the outside, it looks like a picture perfect family. They have a lot of money. There's a lot of them. The grandparents are super rich and they care for their like, you know, family. And then when you get to know the characters more, you realize that there's a lot of lies and a lot of like twisted things happening in the family. I would say that there's not a lot of romance in this book, but if you're looking for like a good shocking twisted thriller type of book, I definitely recommend this one. Okay, that's all the books I'm gonna be talking about today, but I do already have a book video of all the books that TikTok made me buy, um, which I'll link down below because I talk about um, a lot of other books that I've read because of TikTok and most of them I loved and I think are super good. So I'll link that video below. Definitely expect a February wrap up book video because I'm gonna be reading so many good books this month that I can't wait to recommend to you guys. So if you're not subscribed to my channel, definitely subscribe. Go follow me on Goodreads because I literally update every single time I finish a book. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I love you guys. Thank you to Book of the Month for sponsoring this video. And yeah, I'll see you guys super, super soon with a new video. Bye.